What's up guys, how are you doing? Thanks for watching my first web series, Bronze to Silver, Rise from Hilo L. That was a short one, because I didn't expect to get to gold right after the qualifying. Well, now that I'm in gold 5, my main goal is to climb to platinum before the end of the season as support. To do that, I need to improve a little and get more focused. By watching past episodes, I realized I made a lot of mistakes. 90% of them when I lose focus or when I'm tilted. This episode is one where I make a lot of mistakes which made me lose most of the games. I was still trying to enjoy Soraka before the nurse, but I had a really hard landing phase. Mostly because the enemy lane had a lot of help from the jungle. Lantern ganks were really an issue here. I couldn't board more because of four limitations before first pack and because I couldn't get to river. Luckily, we had a Master E that was getting a lot of kills. Now see this classic face check from me. I get it and almost get killed, but Kogmo chickened out when he saw Master E coming and didn't get the job done, which was nice for us, giving us two kills and a few seconds later, bot tower. Iralia was doing fine too. Misfortune landed a few great ultimates, which dealt a lot of damage and won us some team fights. Eventually, we were so fed, we were able to push into their base and win the game. Watch the rest of the game, please. And yeah, I didn't have a good game, but I got 27 league points. And now I get to play Soraka again, which is really nice for me. Remember when I said I get unfocused? Well, yeah. I didn't notice Echo's parallel conversion animation and get, and I get stunned, which eventually leads to me wasting flash and die. Now I miss position! I thought I was alone with Silver, but I wasn't! Brom came from the side. Get his passive on me, and I get killed again. My teammates flamed me, and they were right to do so. Later, we get a good engage on Brom and Silver, but we can only kill Brom. Brom blocked Jin's ultimate really well, which enabled Silver's escape. Iralia asked for a ward, but we, are, we weren't able to ward deeper. She teleports anyway, and that got us nothing, even with Jin slow from ulti. Brom slowed Irelia and she couldn't kill even one of them. With a deeper ward, we would get them and escape before Echo appeared and killed Irelia and G. Malzar was having a bad time mid and switched to top, but he was so bad even Shen was able to solo him. He got his ulti on Shen, but oh, he died. He and Mithim pushed mid lane after switching for a few seconds. Zed engaged with his ulti and almost killed two. When the tower finally went down, Shen dives our two players with low HP and kills Zeep. We then have a great idea. They are low. Let's get them. Let's go after them. Now watch. No. It was a stupid move that cost us a lot. Another team fight, now in bot lane, Malzar and Jin got killed and eventually they take another tower. After a few seconds I got to be their third victim and die too. That was game. And I lose 16 LP. That wasn't so bad. I played Tariq on the next game. I'm getting better with him and I thought it was a good pick because I never had much success with the Soraka plus Draven combo. We had a good start at bot. 
we got, we got a kill on Jin after an extended fight and that could have gone either way. But Jin missed a few skill shots while Draven only had to auto him. Unfortunately, the enemy Z was starting to get fed. Malzar was bad and Rek'Sai was really behind because he died to a monster can. Later, Z came bot, uh, we got a shutdown on him, one of us died too, and after a few seconds I was killed under my tower. Z got a few more kills on Malzar and was now impossible to win, unless they had made a huge mistake. That did not happen though. After getting a few towers in Drakes, we were fighting inside our base. We actually killed Zed, but the time that happened, Malzar, Jean and Zack were really ahead in their build, so seconds later they killed all of us. Jax tried to help, but died. Yeah, it didn't help much. He popped all teammates uh, too late, and Jean was so fat he killed him. And it was Rek'Sai's turn to fail, like he did through the whole game. I lost and that was where I started, with zero league points. In the last game of this episode, you get to see me fail again and win one of my best champs, Soraka. Everything went south. Lucian failed too, but Riven was the one that annoyed me the most. She was playing pre-made with Vi and Vi was only ganking top, letting me even bot an attendant. And Malphite got really fed. Enemy team had more kills and objectives, but we still won one team fight, but only one. Lucian got caught, but we still killed two, mainly because Vi was fed, even though she didn't get full credit. Another misposition and lack of vision from me got me killed. Guys, I was playing like shit that day. I'm sorry, you have a comment section where you can say how shitty I was. Later, they get inside our base, kill two of us and destroy the next tower. We delayed their victory by killing two, but it was already too late. We kill Zanny, but then, as you'll see, Ash hits her ultimate right on Riven. Malfoy TP'd and kills Vi, then chases after me. I was able to bind him, but he was way faster than me and used flash, then killed me. And that was game! Yay! On the next episode, you'll get to see me win, but only after sweating a little and almost going to silver. Thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video press the like button, if you haven't already please subscribe. See ya!